bring in Adam Lockyer from the United States Studies Centre. Adam, good to have you here. What, what would the world make of this? Would they be scratching their heads? Oh, absolutely. So there's a diff few different ways we can think about how the international community is going to be looking upon these developments. The first is how it's going to be reported in international media. Um, and already we see it being picked up by CNN, BBC. This is a story that people are taking article in the New York Times? Absolutely. And it's just the spectacle of it. Mm. People just don't understand what's just going on. Uh, much the same way that um, the international media pays so much attention to the US politics because mm. it is different, because it's Dramatic. theatrical and yeah. because it seems to be a bit of a sideshow, that it's something so, so outside what they're used to that it's interesting. And yeah, that seems to be the approach that the international media is taking to all these, this event. This voyeurism is something that we associate with countries like Italy. Mm -hmm. um, but we've had a reputation for solid government, consistent government, being a well-managed country. And as I said before, you know, we're peaceful, we're secure, our economy's been buoyant, we saw off the worst of the global financial crisis. Why would our politics not match uh, what the realities of our country are? And from the international perspective, this is what's so curious about it, that there seems to be going against all the lessons of politics, mm. that times seem to be good, but the politics seem to be bad, and people don't understand it. So I think that at just the spectacle, at the theatre, um, I think that's why it's going to get so much traction in international media. But from an international perspective, from international politicians, there are very few lessons to learn because this is such an, out, an outlier um, that this seems to be going against all the lessons that they know. Now, people can chuckle at it, they can look at it and, and, and observe the theatrics, but there are significant issues here. Uh, we are a country that has a, a, a big role, particularly in this region. We're on the uh, United Nations Security Council now. We're an important trading partner to a lot of countries. Would there be any concern, particularly as we see the lead up to an election in, in just a couple of months, perhaps even sooner, that a lot of this may now be in a state of flux? Um, perhaps, but I don't think so. I think The that, fundamentals here are good. Yeah, the fundamentals are good on the one hand, and on the policy side of things, people were probably, who, who, the ones who were paying attention, were already paying very close attention to what Abbott was going to do. And I think that nothing that happened today is going to change that. I think that uh, f most people are still expecting Abbott to win, mm. and his, the, the big policy changes are going to occur if and when Abbott wins the election, rather than if it's going to be big change between Gillard and Rudd. Who would Barack Obama's first phone call have been to today? Would it be to Kevin Rudd to congratulate him or Julia Gillard to commiserate with her? Because he's enjoyed a, a good relationship with Julia Gillard and people have remarked on the closeness and the warmth of it. Um, yes, yeah, so he would probably make a phone call to both, um, although it's going to be probably a short one. Um, but on the other hand too, um, I think that the personal relationship at this point isn't so important. Um, the eyes of the world, and including the United States, will be on the election. That's going to be the ones that are going to change policy uh, more than the change in Canberra today. And, and what does the United States look for in an ally like Australia, in, particularly in, in this region? Mm, well, ironically, it's probably looking for stability. Uh, they're, they're, <laughs> it's they're, looking they're, in the wrong place right ex now. <laughs> exactly. They're, they're looking for so, uh, an ally that they can rely upon uh, and they can plan off so they can understand that the United this is Australia's policy and this is going to be Australia's uh, foreign policy regardless of who the leader is and, uh, on either side of politics or the leader of any political party. Um, and I don't think too much has changed um, from everything that's been ha occurred today. Um, the policy changes are pretty minor uh, between Gillard, Rudd and Tony Abbott mm. on the other side. A lot of it has to do with rhetoric and language um, rather than substantial policy changes, at least in foreign policy. And it helps if you can have a laugh with the leader as well. The personal stuff does matter sometimes, doesn't it? It, yeah, it does. Nice to have you here, Adam. Thank Terrific. you. Thank you so much for that. Adam Lockyer from the US Study Centre.